Welcome to Collecting Chaos. Uh, there's a lot of defects in comic books and in grading comics. And a lot of them aren't that easy to, uh, to understand exactly what they are. And in this video and in some subsequent ones, I hope to uh, show you those defects and how they can affect the grades. So, without further ado, let's go wash our hands and get started on identifying defects. Had to go get the mail. They left a package. I won't be opening it today. I might not open it tomorrow. Uh, and while I was at it, I grabbed a piece of tape because, you know, tape is a problem for comic books. And sometimes, see if I can get it to do it. No, it's not going to do it today. Sometimes the tape will tear off a portion of the comic, but this is not going to do it. Uh, but most of us have seen where bits of a of the ink and maybe a layer of paper is removed from the comic from. Uh, From the tape and it's just lifted right off and that's if you have that problem just leave the tape on there just don't even take the tape off if it looks like it's going to tear the comic or tear the ink off leave the tape on there because it'll be less of a defect with the tape on there than it will with that piece of the comic removed uh, another Another defect that I see a lot, especially in older comics, is abrasions. And uh, we'll just see if we can make one here. Now the, the corner is abraded. Obviously I took a piece of sandpaper and did that. But you'll see that on a lot of older comics. And that, that's a pretty big defect. That's a major defect. That's a major problem. All this stuff affects the grade. I have taken this comic from a 9.8 or 9.9. .9. Now it's maybe a very good. Just with those few little examples. And I'll have more examples later. Uh, but I think this is going to be enough for today just to get you started. And we'll save this comic. And we're going to do some other things to it. I'm going to put it under some UV light and let it, you know, maybe cover half of it and let UV light fade half of it. <laughs> just just so you can see it. So this is going to be an ongoing video and you will see other parts of it at other times. But uh, yeah, that, that was pretty good. It abraded that really well. It actually took some of the paper as well as some of the uh, ink off. I really needed to use an older comic for this. Oh, look. I forgot those head cards in them. Uh, so, yeah, we'll pick this up at a, on another day. But uh, this is your introduction to what can go wrong with a comic. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this up. We're going to stick it in our back pocket, you know, and we're going to go ride our bicycle around the, the block a few times and see what happens. Reminds me, I need to buy a bicycle so I can ride it around the block a few times and see what happens. So... That's it for today, and I hope you enjoy this introduction to uh, the destruction of a comic, because that's basically what it is. And I'll see you next time. Make sure you wash your hands. Bye. Okay, I couldn't wait. I wanted to see what was in the box, although I'm pretty sure I know what it is anyway, and I wanted to share it with you. So as you can see, I have on gloves, because uh, it didn't wait. And we're going to open it up. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I know what it is already. Oh, well, I was surprised. It's not what I thought it was. It's something else. It's, wow, I can use that styrofoam. Nice pieces of extruded poly, polystyrene. I can always use that. I was expecting 
some big little books. I got comic books instead. I don't normally wear gloves when I handle comics, but since this was a package from the outside and I'm just as paranoid as everybody else, I figured I would wear them for this. Let's see what we got. JSA Classified Number 1, starring Power Girl. JSA Classified Number 1, Variant Cover, Sketch Variant. JSA Classified Number 1, JSA Classified Number 1. That'll work. JSA Classified Number 2. JSA classified number two. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see the, the whole thing. JSA classified number three. JSA classified number four. JSA classified number five. And these are from 2005 2006. JSA classified number six. Number seven. Number eight like that cover. Number 9, number 10, number 11, and number 12. Really hard to pick these up with these gloves on. Number 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, we'll go to number 17, and number 18. JSA Fighting Game, isn't that fun? Number 19, Number 20, number 21, nice Hawkman cover, number 22, number 23, and number 24. Number 25, 26, 27, and number 28, 29, and 30. Thirty one, thirty two, Solomon Grundy, number thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six. These all look like they're in really, really nice shape.
number 37, number 38, and number 39. And I think that might be the whole run. And if it isn't, that's okay. That's a lot of reading I have to do. Add those to all the other stuff I have to read. So, uh, yeah, that's what I got in the mail today. And uh, I'll have to clean this up now. <laughs> Make sure it's, it's disinfected a little bit. And uh, toss these gloves away and uh, go wash my hands. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.